Hey guys, welcome to Higan Eruthil. So we're going over the best value purchase for the shop. So most of you have probably bought already from the shop <laughs> because it's been a day. But I'm going to be, you know, um, pointing out what are the best value offers, what you should, you know, not pick, what you should pick, what is dependent on your situation and you should buy those. We're starting off with the exchange because this is mostly uh, along the free-to-play route. So, exchange the Wish um, store. We have three phases. One, two, three. Phase one is really of good value. Please do purchase all of those. And uh, for phase two, more or less, the purchases, purchases here are very subjective. I would actually discourage you guys from getting um, any here any of the farmable ones here except for the sigils for the play and um, this one the sigil for the hero pull uh, again you should recycle the wish um, your wish tokens uh, your starlight tablets going back to summoning currency if you do do this but again if you really want to open this uh, and probably go to phase 3, then you'll have to purchase everything. But I don't think that is possible unless if you're a whale at this point. So again, for the Wish um, Exchange, uh, sigils are the most important here. And your priority in terms of recycling your summon currency. Yellow is the yellow store is a uh, part of the resource that you farm from the yellow pact. So this is farmable from the yellow pact, but again, this requires energy, and this fuels this store. So this store is basically resource materials for leveling up. Um, I think the most value here will go to credit, especially if you are kind of short on credit and you want to level up someone. On your team and also for the mythic wit potion if you lack a small portion of um, I know experience then these two are the best value for this store never mind the essences um, Roko unless if you're, you're you're really into developing Roko yes this one the universal soul essence um, uh, yeah, case to case, but the must that you you know spend it on is going to be on credit and your wit potions. Okay, next up, this is actually fun because this is part of your mesmerizing labyrinth, which I discussed a while ago. So I'll put the link up there on how to go over the mesmerizing labyrinth, how to farm this currency. Um, my nose is a bit itchy. Don't know why. Um, this currency, again, is from the Mesmerizing Labyrinth. So there's a video there. Check it out. However, for the store, priorities will be from... Number one priority is the Imperial Cat. This is a set of three. This will... You know, I placed this in media. You could place this in other heroes that you wish because this one increases skill damage by 20%. It's a good, you know, decent... Uh, decent piece of play that you could equip uh, media and also others who you think have high skill damage then you put them there so you have to say about for this three this is a priority before you purchase the other things here the next priority once you're done with these three would be uh, you can actually purchase credits here um, don't really mind as long as again you need it badly uh, the potion as well the credits eventually you will never purchase credits in the mid game I tell you so also the advanced magic brush again this is case to case the must get is still just this one um, straw girl pro Straw Girl, this is for your um, Guardians. If you don't have a good uh, play for your Guardian, this one is in terms of damage mitigation, damage resistance. So you can get this as well, the case to case again. So probably on the 
above average in terms of purchase for this one the rating the the, the rest of these these other plays here i'm not really recommending these are very specific and very niche this is for credit farming the other one this is for yellow voucher farming increased drop rate and devil cupid is going to be more affinity when stage clear so that is it unless if you're really into you know these kinds of plays then be my guest but i'm not really recommending them there uh they're just there is they're just a waste of your resources i tell you okay so for team fight this is pvp team so more or less um th team fight is multiple pvp teams so you'll have to have multiple teams eventually in pvp which is nice to have but the currency here, um, I don't really use for the store. I use for their buffs. Unless if you really need them, then you go for, again, credit and with potion. Pure potion is also good. This is also hard to find. And what else? That's it. Those are your priorities. Pure potion is actually hard to find. So if there is a certain level wherein you'll need a pure potion to level up, the other potions won't. You know won't be won't be applicable to leveling up at a certain level and for single fight this is single pvp um i don't usually use the currency here i use it for buffs for pvp but sometimes sometimes i do i don't usually but i do <laughs> sometimes i do purchase credits here and mythic with potion depending on the situation again but i highly encourage that you recycle tokens towards your buffs for single pvp so though that is it for the exchange the priorities and not priorities the eternal shop this is a paid version uh, i'm not sure why they put this on a paywall but i don't get it at this point it's at 19 dollars so get this instantly uh, well anyway this is for paywall i'm not really encouraging you this this is not a priority let's move on to the next let's go up so the up you know the monthly card this is your monthly you know monthly subscription this one is actually 60 times 30 that is roughly 1800 so that's only 110 pull i'm not really recommending this this is really for um dolphins who want to get additional dubrio style for five dollars but if you're a very small spender or free to play i'm not really recommending this so that's the monthly card uh let's go down for the bundle however uh, this I don't recommend. This I don't recommend unless you are using Euphoria. I uh, know not. That's not Euphoria. That's uh, this is Isa. Sorry, if you're using Isa, but definitely most of you will not be using Isa um, in the end game. This one, if you plan to to build Fen and take her to the end game, this is of good value because. You'll be building her, uh, and you'll no longer need future pulls from her. This is actually approximately uh, four copies of Finn. So that's fives. Uh, that's four summons uh, at five dollars each, and you have an extra one. So you're basically purchasing four summons of Finn, which will take you a long way which will really help you if you plan to level up. if this was rita i'm biased i'd buy this but um again this is a good value if you purchase fan if you plan to take fan to the end game or max potential uh, this one i highly recommend especially for beginners especially for low spenders because this play will really help you um, AP is for magic users or casters so anybody who uses AP will benefit from this increase AP and using skill AP is increased by 25% for 4 seconds this is also nice to start with this is of great value plus you get 10 summons here 
for your place which is really a good value so if you're a light spender i'd suggest this and if you're you know if you like fen you love fen so much that you want to max potential hurt get this then this one i'm actually on average on this one so this is roughly um on average their average spend for 10 pulls five dollars so for each this is an average again this is gonna be for dolphins uh and whales up this one no i'm not recommending these are very farmable so don't waste your money on those the limited ones um this is a heavy purchase this is this belongs to the whales so so far um i won't recommend anything here unless if you're well um there you go outfits uh again it's subjective whether you like the outfits or not so gildan i don't like i won't buy although Eluia i like but i won't still buy uh but i like her outfit by the way classy classy all of them are classy Eluia, however i uh, sorry gildan however is in trousers so not really gonna buy that okay so this one the top up this only belongs to the whales i don't recommend this for dolphins and very low spenders that is it so so far i hope i covered everything in the shop and the very good value here oh um, by the way i still have to mention the last one the fen beginner you know one dollar thingy here with fen here this is of great very great value guys if you even if you're not taking fen as to max potential but if you are a low spender to dolphin then this is actually a very very good value package that you should get okay this you know increases uh fens uh you know uh skill awaken and other things added to her kit okay so that is it guys hopefully you know i pointed out what is best for the shop what is not best for the shop depending on what type of player you are now you know what to prioritize what to leave alone and so far i think they should add more value to the shop most of the purchase in the shop is actually geared towards uh well so that is it so again comment down below if i missed anything if you have questions regarding the shop i will gladly answer them and thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here